will represent the lollipop guild. Uh, wait, wrong kind of munchkin. Uh, what's up everybody? This is Jeremy, MTG headquarters, and it's time for me to take a night off. I've been playing hella MTGO. I've been playing my simulated drafts down here in the basement. I've been shooting videos. I've been opening Theros. It's time for me to take a night off. This is a viewer request of, you know, a night off topic. It's an extremely popular game by Steve Jackson, not to be confused with Peter Jackson. Uh, extremely, extremely fun game. Let's uh, read a little bit about what you get. This is the deluxe edition. I'll put a link to it in the comments down below. You can get it off Amazon for like 30 bucks uh, or at your LGS. Uh, so what comes, what does Munchkin Deluxe say? Go down in a dungeon, kill everything you meet. Backstab your friends, steal their stuff, grab the treasure and run. Admit it, you love it. So inside you get the game board, 174 cards, six pawns, one die, one rule sheet. I'm admittedly a, admittedly a, a relatively uh, new player to the Munchkin world. Uh, I would think you need at least three players for this to be fun. I can't see it being fun with two players because, I mean, the more players you have, the more fun it's going to be because basically what happens is you end up, in a nutshell, you're a dude or a dudette, and each room you open a door and you have an op the option of fighting monsters. So you fight monsters and your teammates or the other people you're playing against can help you or they can help the monster right? So there's some really fun exchanges. There's a video of uh, Will Wheaton playing with uh, Steve Jackson on his tabletop uh, series on uh, Geek and Sundry, I think. And it's it's a super fun what happens. And, and basically, if I'm fighting a monster, you could come to me and, and all of a sudden the, I can't kill it. And you say, well, uh, if you kill that monster, you get three treasures. Well, I'll help you make sure you don't die, but I want two of the three treasures. Maybe somebody at the table says, well, I'll help you beat him for only one of the treasures. Um, so now you take that deal, and maybe the person that wanted two helps the monster and screws you both. So it's uh, it's super fun. The backstabbing, I think, is what uh, makes it extra fun. The characters are very whimsical. An orc begone chainsaw going on there. So you have your little setup and your card management. Um, Again, so three to six can play. Each player selects a colored pawn, places it on the space marked one, level one. So basically every room you surpass, you go up a level and you win the game by beating, uh, attaining level nine and beating a character. So getting, beating a monster, so getting to level 10. The fun thing about this game though, is you might fight, you might end up pulling a level 20 monster when you're level one or level 10 monster. And you might be level nine and you might get, when you pull a card, it might be a level two monster. So there's so much random stuff going on in this game that it just is super fun. Uh, you don't have to love magic to love this game. There's different classes and races and your treasure can turn into uh, like uh, armor and you can get armor and like uh, upgrade your weapons that give you like enchantments in magic, right? Uh, there are some certain specifics into like how many, I think you can have like one big item, one small item, and you pick your class. It's, uh, you know, it's all in the, it's all in the rules. I've only played a couple times and I'm really looking forward to bringing this to Christmas with my family. So hopefully they'll play. Here's the game board. looks just like you would expect. And there's like a hundred thousand different versions of Munchkin. So if you get sick of playing one version, you go, you spend 20 bucks, get a new deck of cards and you have different monsters to encounter, different characters, different classes, all sorts of cool stuff. The classes from what I can tell have like their own specific abilities. Like if you're an elf and you help somebody, you go up a level. So you're incented as an elf to be helpful. Um, you know, all that stuff. And here are the is the little bag of characters. Not much going on there, but they are funny looking. And then you have your door cards and your treasure cards. Right? They both say Munchkin. I wonder here. Let's open it up. 
Ugh. I normally don't like to open up these when I'm down here because, like, when I opened up Rise, uh, Rise of Vigil, I put the cards back sloppily. And... All right, so here we have, like, these must be, I don't know, babe cards. So here we have, these are door cards. So when you open a door, basically, when you enter a room, you can end up uh, getting, wait. These are not door cards. Are they all the same? They might be all the same. Because like, <laughs> it's a uh, level four and there's bad stuff to it. Kicks, bites, smells awful, lose two levels. So if you draw that card, you end up not too happy. Ugh. Okay. Let's see here. These look like... So you can have steal a level. These are cards that you would play from your hand. So if somebody else at the table was like a level five and you were level four, you could steal a level from them. There's all sorts of fun little stuff here. These definitely seem like, these have to be treasure cards. These are treasure cards, right? Because there are no monsters in here. Yeah. Here's cheat cards. Curse, lose a level. Just fun stuff. Change sex. Yeah. So these must be uh, ugh, not your treasure card, but yeah, these must be your treasures. This has to be doors, right? Because there are monsters in here. I thought I saw them. Yeah, here they all are. So you can end up having a face like ghoul fiends or level 10, 3,872 orcs. And so it says, plus six against dwarves due to an ancient grudge. But if you defeat them, you get three treasures. So then when you beat them, then you can take three treasure cards where you might have, let's say, okay. Uh, let's see. You could get like steal a level. <laughs> Here's curses. I better, I'd have to check. But anyway, there's basically two piles. I'm not sure how they're separated. These look like, see how these all have gold pieces on the bottom? These have to be the treasures. Because you have nasty take and drink, used during any combat, plus two to either side. So if two people are fighting, you might say, oh, I'm going to give two to the monster, or I'm going to give two to, the, to your friend. So these must be, because you can cash them in for gold then. They're worth a certain number of gold pieces, which you can trade in for levels. There's all sorts of fun stuff. This isn't a how-to play. This is simply... Oh yeah, here we go. These are treasure. Now they are clearly marked. These are treasure cards. These must be uh, more door cards. So treasure is denoted by the treasure. So every time you defeat somebody, you can take a certain number of treasure cards and vice versa. It's super fun. It's super quirky. It's the, you know, if you buy the deluxe edition, like I did, it's cheaper than a fat pack or roughly the same cost as a fat pack. So, you know, it's endless fun with your buddies for 30 bucks, 20 bucks if you get like any of the other versions. So Munchkin is what I'm doing on my night off. This is Jeremy from mtgheadquarters.com and I'm taking the night off. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of our most popular playlists, everything from MTG vlogs, gameplay video, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. And if you haven't yet, here's your opportunity to crush that subscribe button to join the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channel on YouTube. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.